What's up, Earth Signs? It's your girl, Dominique, with Empathic Guidance, and I'm back with another video for you guys today. And today, I'm back with the weekend vibes. And so, let's see what's coming in for your weekend vibes, you guys. What's coming in for Earth Signs for the weekend vibes? You guys are adapting to something here. Adapting to a way of being... I'm hearing it takes a village. So you may be adapting to some changes, adapting to needing help or somebody else needs your help right now. Okay. Somebody here has abandonment issues as well. Y'all could be adapting to being alone. Yeah. I'm getting accepting adaptation. You know, it's like y'all could be being really careful right now, especially with the universe, because things can be changing in a way that's kind of scary for y'all or somebody around y'all. OK, somebody is going through a lot of pressure and difficulty, but it's meant to cause some type of change. OK, so take it as it resonates. You could be this somebody. You could have somebody significant in your energy that's going through this. All right, let's see. Damn, yo. Somebody kind of bitter that you walked away from them, so they've been talking shit, but re in reality, it's like this person really look up to you. They just, they may be upset that you walked away from them at a time where it seemed like everything is going wrong, to be honest with you, okay? Hmm. All right. It's about to be a side to y'all that's getting ready to emerge that y'all never expected from this situation, all right? Somebody could be hiding a side to them that you never seen before. And that could be the person that's going through some type of difficulty and also learning to adapt to a shift that's happening in their life that may be difficult. All right. Somebody wants you to rethink the connection here. Okay. Because this person might really need you right now. They going through a very hard time. And again, it could be aspects of them that they are hiding from you, even if that's just vulnerable. Wow, yeah, I'm saying never again here. Yeah, royal bloodline here is in reverse. Damn, y'all, somebody could have got kicked the hell about their lineage. Like, they could have been doing some low vibe shit, and now they have to adapt to a whole nother way of being. Like, this could have been where somebody's life was set up to where they was meant to experience wealth and stability and prosperity, and now they have to adapt to poverty and, like, living living from paycheck to paycheck or something like that man this is bad okay y'all might y'all might be high, in high demand or high value right now okay so that's the reason why it's like this person do wish they was you but they at the same time they talking shit okay this person got father issues is what i'm getting here talk shit about you one minute practices how to be you in the bathroom mirror the next why is this here this person definitely wish they could walk in your energy because you in a high value they was meant to be too but i don't know what this person did here again like i said you may be saying never again but it's like this person want to change your mind because they need you all right talk shit about you one minute why is this here G A O oh, catfish they could be saying you a catfish. This could be somebody with big banana energy. Okay. So my thing is, if you like beautiful or handsome or whatever, like this person may be trying to like discredit how beautiful you actually are, especially if you do something like use filters or whatever the case is. It's like... You put that same filter on an ugly person, it's not going to look the same. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, now you know my secret. Use the same filter. If you instantly turn into Fabio or Fabia, then you know that it's the filter and not me being beautiful or uh, handsome. Okay, but somebody is here talking shit about you, okay? They might be saying, you know, you a catfish. You know, everybody think you all that or whatever the case is. But at the same time, this person want to be you. And they did get hard when they think about you too, okay? So, yeah, if you like the opposite energy, if this is a male, it's like they could be just, it don't even got to be that. It could be if you like wigs, weave, long nails, makeup, you know, whatever it is that you like. Like this person may be trying to make it seem like just, they just want to take away from who you are, okay? They want to take away from who you are because in all actuality, this person feel like you a goddess as well. Why is catfish here?
poly life. Why is catfish here? So this person may be pretending to be something that they not. They might be like into polyamorous or they might have a whole nother lifestyle going that you don't know about. And that's the side to you, them that they hiding. Okay. Yeah. This person may want to move or relocate with you. I'm telling you, because again, this person may be suffering and you, like I said, you, you showing up as a high value man or woman right now. Okay, yeah, uh, and this person see what's nurturing, like, you will take care of them in this time of need, like, yeah, but I'm trying to figure out why, they, so you not the catfish, is them, but they could be talking shit about you because they feel like you haven't caught on to this, yeah, trying really hard to be sexy for you, yeah, and that could be what it is, okay, so for some of you, if they did try to make it seem like you be catfish, and maybe you was just trying to look cute for them, shit. <laughs> can't appreciate shit <laughs> like damn that's crazy lucid dreamer you may be seeing this person in your dream state only have eyes for you they catfishing you on that y'all they got a family whoever this is I don't care what they saying to you they got a family they definitely got a family and that's who they talk shit to you about you know, they make it seem like you dumb, like they spell work working on you, that like you glamoured, like you can't tell what they got going on, that they got you completely fooled, that you'll help them out because, you know, you love them so much that you just had this motherly protection vibe towards them, okay? This person, they brag about being able to tap into your dream state. All right, so let's see. Why it's never again here? RSTUV can be this person's first, middle, or last initial. Yeah. This person may feel like you don't got no options because you don't go nowhere. Like, they see you as a homebody or whatever the case is. So, they may feel like it's no way you got no options. Shit. That's probably, if your ass stay in the house, that's probably why. Because as soon as you walk out the door and hit the poach, it's like people just like, uh, like like honey on bee like bees on honey you get what i'm saying yeah this person like man nah so <laughs> this is somebody that want to bury y'all honestly y'all need to update y'all vision board this person could be a husband but trying to be your man or they could be feeling like you know since your options is low or whatever the case is since you already settled down and whatever the case is you might as well just do what they want you to do like you might as well be a part of whatever they already started building and establishing here, okay? Because this person wants your kundalini energy, y'all physical touch, something about your touch that they want a hold of. They want to exchange energy with y'all, okay? They feel like you'll be an asset to whatever this is that they got going on here, okay? It's like y'all ready to end this and start a new beginning. Y'all want to go in a whole nother direction, okay? Y'all found your own inner hidden glow from whatever happened towards you and this person. Yeah, struggling with your sexuality. You're not, you're sure. So maybe this person saw you as like bisexual or like if you carry a masculine energy, they might have thought that you would be okay with being in a relationship with women and men. Maybe you're not. <laughs> like maybe this person just don't know that you balanced in your duality and they misunderstood you okay if you whether you a man or a woman if you a man and you like walking your feminine energy they could have mistaken you for somebody that's struggling with your sexuality you could be clarifying that this weekend or they are clarifying it to you however this person may be coming forth like they still got room to come through and see you even though you made the status between y'all clear if you told them you never wanted to see them again they may be calling you up like when can i see you again and you like didn't i just tell your ass the last time that i don't want to see you again okay yeah but somebody here like if a wedding is off Y'all, I feel like last week we was we have brought up the fact that somebody wanted you to stop them at the altar. You didn't. I mean, some of y'all might have. I don't know. But it's looking like a wedding here is off. Okay, somebody is finding out that somebody that they was meant they wanted to get married to or they were going to get married to was some type of false person, and that is what caused them to walk away from them for good. Okay.
Y'all already know what time it is when the summertime comes. These kids next door be loud. Let's see. High value man or woman. Yeah, you out of there. Shit. You're not sticking around for this type of mess. You like, what the hell? Yeah. Yeah, let me let this come out because it want to come out. It, the card even bent because they might have you bent. Okay, yeah, that's what I just heard. That was your ancestors of mine. Uh, okay, so this person spent the new moon, which was last weekend, calling you in. So they hoping that by this weekend, your energy is softened enough to like let them in. Okay. Uh, so this person got abandonment issues, but really they struggling. This person is struggling. They hope you let them back in. They are. And it's like they could have been trying to tough it out. So I don't know what that means. Living in a car. Living in a hotel. You know, whatever. Van life. <laughs> like this person tried to be nomadic. They just don't like it. So this person could be like a germaphobe or... OCD, but whatever the case is, it's like homeless life or, you know, trying to tough it out until they get back on their feet. It's not working for this person. They want stability, but it's like they got a whole team in tow. For some of you, that polyamorous thing is not going to ring true for all of y'all, but at the same time, I'm getting the energy where... Even if they don't want to date multiple people openly, it's like they want to have multiple, like, they want to be a rolling stone. Like, they want to be able to have multiple homes. Like, wherever they lay their hat, they want it to be their home. You know? And that could be what daddy issues is. It's like they may try to lay the same foundations as their father. Having multiple kids, mamas, or multiple kids, daddies, and multiple people that they can turn to in their time of need. Or for different things, you know, whether it's sex, money, a place to stay because they into it with a spouse or whatever. Times like this where this person may need a, a couch to sleep on or a bed to sleep in. You know, it's like this person may be trying to make it seem like they truly want to reconcile. But I feel like this person going through pressure and difficulty and they hoping that you open up, you know, and that you compassionate, that you still got that motherly energy that you used to have towards them at some point. Y'all, and you're not. This person, they cannot take rejection. Like, they take rejection really hard, and it's looking like that's what y'all gonna do. All right? Yeah. It's this person's inner child. So, something happened when they was younger. They got abandoned in some kind of way, and that's why they have to have multiple partners. Because if one leaves, they still ain't by themselves. Yeah. Y'all, the son, this person is depressed. They depressed, and their inner child is wounded as shit. Okay? Not trying to say it like that, but I'm saying it like that, okay? Yeah, King of Pentacles. This person may be on an outward level. They may be very, like, they may come off as very successful, well put together. But on the inside, this person is a withering rose. And they can't move on from the past. It's like, no matter what they portray on the outside, this person's inner peace is disturbed, is stirring, okay? This person may suffer from un... Uh, unchecked mental health issues sleep apnea or extreme insomnia where this person may go days and days without sleep um this person might be like up on online all night like this person thrive off of getting their ego stroke getting attention stuff like that so again that could be why like they require like a third party and i feel like they try to groom the people around them you know, or they might like try to attract people that have an anxious attachment style to the point where like people don't be want to let them go. It's kind of like, okay, it's fine. You can have multiple people. You was never that. You was never that. And I don't even know what made this person think that shit. Okay. So, but yeah, that's what they used to. Y'all. It's like this person do not like change because abandonment, they can't deal with it. And that's why they never came towards you on no, like, really with all of their integrity. They did not come towards you with their integrity because this person, like, they they feel more comfortable with tradition. But I know that I know y'all like that's such a enigma. Like this person wants tradition, but at the same time, 
it's like ancient tradition because it's kind of giving me past life vibes where this person think it's completely okay to have multiple wives or multiple queens. You know what I'm saying? This person got a very king ass mentality. So it's kind of like, you know, like I am the king of Zamunda type shit. So I don't know y'all, but I feel like right now it's like this person don't like the fact that Y'all are a high value man or woman. And I don't know why I put quotation marks because it's quite evident. You know what I'm saying? But uh, like y'all don't dress this shit up. Y'all just be. But uh, yeah, it's like as the queen of swords here, y'all, y'all are, y'all feel like this is a time to focus on y'all career rather than relationships. And maybe y'all feel like this person is a perfect distraction of that because they handsome, they could have dimples, they could have facial hair, okay? This person may have long hair, no matter whether you white or black, okay? If you black, they may wear their hair in braids, a ponytail, a man bun, some locks, same thing with you if you're Caucasian or any other race, okay? But I am getting that. I am getting that. Y'all, this person is hoping that you help elevate their life again. Like they want to be at the top of the wheel with you. It's like if they was on the top of the wheel at some point without you, then they it was easy for them to stay away. But now it's a sense of urgency because where you are, they want to be. And they feel like you will get them there. You know, because again, with, even with this Queen of Swords, like she is like a motherly type energy. But right now, it's like we could be friends. I'm seeing that with these yellow roses, which represent friendship. It's kind of like we can be friends. But right now, I'm focused on my career. You guys are brilliant, self-reliant, insightful, funny. You know, you will catch. You will catch. But it's like y'all focus more on y'all work. And this person want to know, like, can y'all work together? All right. Y'all, at one point, this person plans was working out well for them. You know, they was feeling successful, feeling accomplished, satisfied with their accomplishments. You know, y'all. But whatever that it, it was, it only yielded short-term success is what I'm getting. Now they under some type of judgment. And it could have been because of the state of being that they put you in. This person might have hurt you one too many times. And that's why y'all rather focus on y'all career. Because it's like, no, thank you. I already released you. I know all you want is, you know, your ego stroked and some level of control and power. And now this person feeling powerless. They feeling knocked out of their position, knocked off their throne. They feel like they lost, like, this is like losing control of the steering wheel and the ice storm. It's like right now, shit just swaying in their life. And this is a very painful ending. This person could be turning to drugs or addictions or something to that extent, okay? For some of you, this person could be, could have been a firefighter, all right? Or this person trying to put the fire out. Okay, so whatever like went up in smoke between y'all, it's like this person trying to come through and extinguish that, but you completely closed off to this. Some of you guys are focused on education. This person could have hacked you in the past, hacked you, um, stole from you, whether that was ideas, finances, something to that extent, and that got exposed to you. So now it's like this person is regretting that past decision that they made. They probably never thought they was going to have to spend a block, but they really, really need to, okay? So yes, this person do. They want to come in and kind of complain, hoping that you'll get them a place to stay, you know, or a job or both, okay? They really can be feeling like, I hope they want to work together. They want to collaborate because this person feel like you like butter on the road right now. Like this is a, a, a good time in life for you. And they want a piece of that. They want to bask in that same level of satisfaction. Okay. The will of fortune. Yeah, y'all, they want their life to mirror yours, okay? And at some point, they could have cheated their way there. Now they got to do it the fair way. And you going to let this person fight their own battles, okay? Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, it's like this person is being asked to examine their self-image. Like, it's like, okay, because, again, this person do give off a different persona than what they are. And like I said, with, uh, like, showing you a side to them that you never seen before, it's like you want this person to, like, be more mature. It's like you want them to be more mature. You want them to be more fair. You don't want this person to keep coming at you in this like misogynistic energy where it's like well you're a woman bow down or you know listen to what I say or let me lead or you know I know this is your idea your footwork your hard work but let me put my name on the business let me be the CEO let me manage you like this is the type of vibes that this person give okay and they could even try to make you feel like you couldn't do good without them Okay, it's like, you know, they could have tried to slow you down for the purposes of you coming to them, asking them, like, do you know anything about such and such? Do you know how I can? Whatever, whatever it is that you're trying to do in life here. Okay. But it's like you kept trucking through the storm. You could have, like, kept getting stuck and kept digging your, your way out of it. And it's like your resilience is really proven to the universe that you're ready for the next phase of your life because you didn't let obstacles stop you yeah and you avoided this person when you came back you learned from this person that they wasn't a healthy choice okay you have healed your heart now this person is hoping that you healed your heart because it could have been two to three years for some of you when it come down to this individual so they're hoping that you already healed from the things that they put you through So this person didn't receive something that they needed. They needed some type of return on their investment, but something stopped progressing here. And now they don't have a choice but to move on and close out this cycle. Okay. This person is heartbroken because they under judgment. They deeply sad. You know, you don't want them back. They thought at the very least they had you to fall back on. So now you triggering their abandonment wounds again. Okay, they feeling lost, especially because whoever they had, you know, even though they thought you was a backup, that person could have abandoned them. It's like when times get tough, everybody get to going, you know, but this person sees you as maybe the only person that would have stuck around during a time of hardship. And now you not even like you closed off to them because of how high horsed they was acting when they was in a good position. Okay, Queen of Cups in reverse. This person may need to seek therapy here or they may be coming to you for therapy or they may like how therapeutic you are. But it's like no matter what it is that you give to this person, whether it's healing, therapy, whatever, it's like they leave you feeling depleted. So if you get them energy, they take it all. If you like give them therapy, they put you in a position where you need therapy. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, they feel like coming back together with you Coming out of this separation is definitely going to help them heal, heal their heart, heal their energy, therefore heal the current things that's happening in their life. They may come in and like try to seduce you and they may be still holding on to an old version of you that don't exist where their seduction would have worked and now it's not. Like you may not even be attracted to the same thing anymore. So this person may come around and not even be your type. And they've been watching and stalking you. That could have been why you let them go. Because you, like, this person wasn't speaking up, but they was all up in your energy, though. Emperor. In reverse. Whoo, stabbed in the back. I'm telling you. It's like this person's controlling nature. This was a double-edged sword, though. Y'all... Because this person stabbed you in the back for st uh, stability and they thought it was going to be permanent and it wasn't. They wasn't able to endure it. Okay, so this person couldn't keep something going. Okay, and now they can't even take care of themselves and the soul contract between y'all is broken. Okay, all right, hopefully that helps. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Join the soul tribe and I'll catch you guys out on the next one. Peace.